All right. Um, I want to welcome everyone to this video. I have a special guest on, Colin Klinkert, and he is the creator of Fusion Command Center. Now, we've been talking about Command Center and some of the training, and we're getting set to release it. And in this video, we're going to go over everything that's in here. This is an incredibly powerful software uh, that you will want to use for your agency. And it's one of the softwares that we have that's going to give you the edge over kind of everyone else um, who's um, your competition out there who have agencies offering SEO and Google My Business rankings and different things like that. So um, first I want to introduce Colin. How's it going, Colin? Hey, Joe. Awesome. Thanks, man. How are you? Good, good. So um, Colin, you want to just tell everyone a little bit about yourself, what you do and, and kind of how you came up with the software? Yeah, sure. So I'm an ex-SEO. I love SEO. I still do it on the side. Um, I used to do it full time. And then I got into software development. Well, I always did software development from the age of 18. I started software companies. But uh, I kind of started building software specifically to make my SEO easier. And uh, then I started thinking, oh, this could benefit other people. And then people were saying, hey, uh, can I have access to that tool or can you build this? And it morphed into uh, a suite of tools that is called SERP.net. Um, and through my connections with you, David, Mike, Greg, etc., cetera, uh, we've been able to basically create uh, a more like refined version of SERP called Fusion Command Center which kind of fits in exactly with, with the, the Fusion training and provides the tools that people need um, in order to get their first clients, manage their first clients, and report to their first clients. Um, yeah, so it, it allows them to take all the training you guys do and, and implement. Right, so like, and then a little background too with, with, with you know, everyone, all the, the people in Fusion, right, all the coaches. Um, we've been working with Colin for a long time. And like I said, he has his, his big suite of software um, for, for the bigger agencies. And over the years, you know, we go, hey, you know, if we need something and we think like, man, if we, we, re, if we can have this automation in our agency, it's going to really save time. So we'll talk to Colin and then he'll create it and he'll put it in there for us. So he's been with us for years developing these tools for our agency. And then when we decided to create Fusion, we said, man, we need a software that's easy for people to get, that's easy to use, and it's going to help them get their um, first clients. And that's where we came up with uh, this Fusion Command Center. Um, so here on this page, it's just, it's just showing a little bit of uh, uh, what's inside of the Command Center. Now, we're going to actually go in there and go through each tab to show you what it is. But you know, if we look at some of these boxes here, we have SEO analysis, um, where we can look at the backlinks, right? So we yep. can look at our competition, right? You want to say, tell a little bit about that, uh, Colin, like what each box is? Yeah, sure. So uh, when you look at SEO analysis, we have four tools available to Fusion users. Uh, the first one is the Site Explorer, which is pretty cool, because what it allows you to do is you can check your sites uh, or any other competitor sites or client sites. So for example, and, and the other thing that it does, which is kind of cool, uh, Joe, is that it allows you to check both www and non www versions because as, as you probably know, Google treats those differently. Um, the subdomains it treats as individual sites. So if we tick both and we click explore, what it does is it pulls metrics from um, Moz, Majestic, all the services out there, and it's going to line them up, including our own internal uh, link checker, and it's going to put it in a nice box so that you can instantly see, you know, which version of the domain name is stronger. And it's going to give you a lot of data. And if it looks complicated, you know, you don't have to take it too seriously because we kind of color code uh, which version is the stronger version for you. And um, you can kind of see that, that it's broken down both with and without. You can see any, any problem backlinks, you can see the uh, topical trust flow of, of the website, and then you can go through and you can actually view all the individual backlinks to it. And you can see other cool things as well, like link velocity, link age, 
trust flow breakdown. There's a lot of things in here that I think they'll learn later on in the training that's maybe not that applicable in the beginning, but it's still interesting to have access to all of this data. Um, and what's nice here is this is all about saving you time and, and allowing you to build nice reports for your clients that basically wow them and make them think, you know, wow, this is amazing. Uh, so, so that's what the site explorer allows you to do. And then obviously you can check out uh, your backlinks in depth. Now this was a tool that came from Greg Morrison. Um, I, it's a, you know, maybe a bit more in depth, but it, it shows you all the stats and metrics on your specific backlinks and it kind of drills down into those so that you can know whether your backlink profile is strong or not, what are your weaker links and so on. And then a bulk URL analyzer. This is good if you want to give a report to a client or if you want to quickly analyze a bunch of URLs. Let's say that you're looking to get backlinks from different sources or things like that. You can just quickly pump in those URLs and it's going to generate a report for you. And if we have a look at a quick example report, I don't know what was run here. Um, okay, it's just on, on our domain that is brand new um, just for this. But you'll be able to see all of the metrics and you'll be able to compare it to all of the other sites that you paste in here real quick. So to do that, you just click here and you can compare up to 20 URLs at a time. You can choose which data you want to show and you click analyze and it's going to pull back this nice table for you. So that's, that's a quick way of analyzing data. And then Joe, an interesting and then just, tool. Well, you before you go to that one, what I want to let everyone know is like, as Colin goes through this, you know, you guys are going to see a lot of things like Moz and Ahrefs, like all these other sites that give you this data for you to even get data from one of those sites, it's going to cost you a minimum of like $60 a month. I think that's one of those yeah. data sources. So just know that in the reason why we put command center in here and we wanted to do this was we didn't want you to have to go out and spend, you know, $60 for each one of those sites. And now you're spending hundreds of dollars just to get some um, data that you could use you know, as you analyze the backlinks of maybe the competitors or your client or, or different things like that. So again, like this is, this is why we have it all in this one tool. So that's like a huge, just money saver and time saver for, for just everyone in uh, fusion. Yeah. Yeah. Just to touch on that a little bit. I think uh, the APIs and the systems we pull back for site Explorer, if you were to buy those services individually, you'd be up at more like $300 a month. Um, and then obviously you've got all those data in, in all different tabs and you would then need to pull it together in some sort of an Excel document or something like that if you want to see it side by side. Um, and there's no way of generating and compiling reports from the different services outside of here, whereas here you can do that with our site reports. Um, the other thing is also, I think that this is like the equivalent of a standalone tool that would cost you probably $100 a month as well. And then obviously your rank tracker, those all have minimum starting prices. Plus also a lot of the tools in here are proprietary, which aren't available uh, anywhere else. But yeah, so Joe, as I was just saying in the SEO analysis, there's this new tool that we created thanks to you and your feedback and your request. Now, now before um, you show us, I want to give kind of everyone a background. So if you guys have watched my training on citations and local directories and trying to find you know, those local directories that your competitors are using. Like I show you this long way to do it where you have to put like a search string in Google and it pops up you know, for your competitor and it pops up where their, you know, where their information is and you have to sort through a lot of stuff. Um, and what I, when I was talking to Colin, I was like, listen, I want to, I want something that makes this long process super easy um, for people. And then he created this, which is, Amazing. So gag Colin, show them what it is. Awesome. Okay, cool. So what you would do is you just click this plus button here and then you'll see how many citations our database currently supports. Now we're always adding on to these and so on. So you can actually access this list under the client acquisition tools. And if there's citations that you want added that are not there, you can send them to us and we'll work on putting them in. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to put in the keyword that you're targeting. So for example, plumbers, real estate, SEO, whatever. You're then gonna put in the location, which would be New York, London, um, you know, San Antonio. And then you choose the locale. So let's say if it's if it's a US, you'd go for google.com. And then you'd select your business. Now the reason to do this is that you can we can compare yours or your client's business or pre even prospective clients if you wanna send them these 
reports and examples um, versus the top five ranking map pack. So the guys are currently rank in the top five for this keyword in this location. Right. So if you do, if you if you have GMB, you can hook it up. Um, that comes via an integration. You'll connect your Google My Business, and then you can select it from here. And if not, then you just add a custom one in, and you put in the name, location, town, region, etc. Right. Uh, so this is how you fill it out. Um, we we then go and we source all the data for you, and we run the report and we pull it back. If you want to receive an email once the report's complete, you can just tick that. And here you'll choose the niches or categories. So you can either say any. Um, which will then do the, the global plus the country that you've chosen. Uh, or you can drill down into specific categories if you want. And then what comes out is you'll run the report. And here's an example report. And you can just view this report. This is for Dentist New York. Okay. And the way it goes is it's going to show us the top five over here. And whether they have citations on those sources or not. And you as number six, your business. So in this example, for Dentist New York, uh, Holistic Dental Center currently ranks number one. And from our database, they have 23 uh, listed citations and 260 not listed. Now, if you want to see their specific listings, you click on here and you'll be able to see in order all of their ones here. And then you can drop this down and show like more per page. And as we can see here, you can also compare to your ones and you can see where you are and versus the top uh, four or five competitors for that keyword. So we can see that the top four all have links on yellow pages, but we don't yet have a yellow page listing. So we can then simply click create listing and go ahead and set it up for our client. And obviously we'd be charging them fees to do this. Um, and also you'll notice here we have an export a CSV, so you can show this to your client beforehand. You can say, look, this is the current state of play and this is what we're gonna be working on for you. Um, or you can send that to someone on Fiverr or I don't know, anyone who Joe Joe has maybe recommended citation builders or something like that, that they can then go and build for, for you on these sources. But as we can see here, so uh, number one, three, four, and five are all listed on Yahoo, but you're not listed on Yahoo or your clients, and then you can go and create that listing. And on ones where you are listed, it would say view listing. And in this case, we are uh, Lenovo, okay? And if we click view listing, we're gonna see that it's then going to come and it's going to pull up our positioning there, okay? And you can just go through that. Um, and yeah, as, as Joe said, it's a massive time saver. But basically, we go and we scrape the top five map pack, and then we go and we scrape every single citation directory that you ask us to go and check for each one of those five, and we compile it into a nice report that you can easily come and, and see. Yeah, which is, guys, this is such a huge tool for your agency, and like this is, what I'm talking about when I say that it's a competitive edge that other people don't have, like to rank in Google Maps, one of the big things is um, citations and directories and where your information is found. So if you could actually go in and see where your competitors are listed or your client's competition is listed and just simply go out and get your information on there, get a link and be able to get a link from those sites back to your client sites, that is huge and it's gonna move their sign, their, your client's site up in the rankings. So like, if this is all you got at a command center, it would be worth it because this is just a huge, huge component. So that's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, okay, cool. And so that's basically our SEO analysis tools. Right. But then we have site management tools as well. So for example, let's say that you have your own website, um, you can add that through here and you can, you know, kind of monitor and manage your own site. So you can view your, all your sites, add a site or add a project. So Joe, I think that um, color bright painting is a, mm -hmm. a domain you're using in case studies. Is that right? Yes, exactly. It, it is. So just to show an example, if you paste here, you can then go and analyze these and you can go to all the, you know, the shortcuts or you can add it to a project. And then this is where we walk through. So you're going to choose a project. So let's say that this is our own site. So we're going to put it as a, or maybe it's a client site, let's say. And then next step, you're just going to basically follow through here. You're going to add the site name, color bright painting, where it's registered, who the hosting provider is, and is it built? Is it under construction, etc. And then you're going to choose what country and language you're targeting or where your client is. 
And then if this is a physical business registered in GMB, which they should be, you'd be able to click yes. And then you're gonna be able to connect to your client's GMB and that's gonna pull in all the, the information, right? And then you'll just keep walking through the steps here uh, to add keywords, competitors, and tools. So we're not gonna add the site at this stage, but it's just to show you how easy it is to walk through and, and set that up. And then once you do have a site, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna give you all the metrics and you're gonna be able to compare it to all your competitors on an ongoing basis where every two weeks we update <clears throat> all the metrics, all the stats of your site and your competitors, and you'll be able to have these reports and see whether you're gaining on your competitors, etc. cetera. Um, so, so that's something that allows you to do as well. But then the, the main thing that, one of the main tools I wanna to show you here is called Backlinks Manager. So part of Fusion training, and one of the keys to Fusion training is getting high quality links for your clients. So when you build those links, you're gonna to wanna to monitor those, right? So what you do is you'll come in here and you'll add these links to your client site. So let's say that this is your client site. You then paste in the link or you can fetch them, but it's, it's better to you know, paste in the links that you've specifically arranged for your clients. And then you can give them a tag like um, you know, purchase links or you know, from, from Costa or whatever the case is. And then next step. Then what it's gonna do is it's actually, I don't have an example to show you, but I can show you the columns. It's gonna show you charts, graphs, and everything like that of which links are remain active, which are not found, which have problems. So what this means is let's say that the host has a problem and the site isn't reachable. You're gonna get an alert about that and you can go and contact the site host and say, hang on, you know, this isn't helping my client anymore. Or let's say the link is no longer found, like they, you've paid for a link and it's been removed. You can then go and follow up, you know? As well as this, you can also be reporting to your clients these things, but it allows you to kind of monitor on behalf of your clients what's going on with their links. And you can kind of see <clears throat> all the other metrics there as well as to whether they do follow, no followed, if they're still indexed, because sometimes links get de-indexed from Google. And then you can get an alert from that and get notified and maybe contact whoever you paid to put that link up there and, and they can do a replacement for you. So, Joe, I think that that backlinks manager is a very powerful tool for Fusion users. Yeah, and that's great. Like I said, like to keep track for each of your clients. Say if you're purchasing links from Casa, you just put them in here. And then now you have one place where all the links are. Um, you know, in the past, we'd have to do spreadsheets and all this other stuff to keep organized, where this just helps keep everything in one place. So, you know, we can just take a look at it, which is, yeah, it's an awesome uh, feature. And I mean, other tools, that there are quite a few tools and most of them self-explanatory. But for example, Uptime Monitor, uh, you can even add on a service to your clients, like say, you know, for an extra $50 or whatever your package is, or $100 a month, we'll monitor the uptime of your site. Or if, if they have really crummy hosting and their site keeps going down, that affects their rankings as well. So rather than them blaming you, you can go to them and say, look, here's a report. You see, your, up, your site was down for four hours last month. Let's move you to better hosting. And then you can charge them to move them hosting as well. So you do get all these types of tools and it's very easy once you add it in, you just add in a site and it automatically starts monitoring for you and gives you nice reports that you can view in depth, the uptime, response time and so on over any sort of period of time. You see you come in here, you can choose a range and then it's gonna show you uh, any events will be listed here as well. So you can see, you'll be able to know, uh, see uptime, downtime and so on and so forth. So yeah, there's a lot of these types of tools included in here. And then I guess, Joe, that site management, mm -hmm. uh, should we quickly discuss rank tracking? Yeah, let's talk about the rank tracker. So this is another big component of Fusion Command Center is the rank tracker. Now, probably, you know, in Greg's, some of Greg's videos, he might've talked about microsite masters or other kind of ranking trackers that he's used. And um, that's because this wasn't ready yet. But if you went to to say the tools that he suggested, again, you're $40 a month, $50 a month, where you don't need those tools now because we have that in Fusion Command Center, which is, again, a great, huge savings. Um, and this, again, the rank tracker is just gonna be able to, well, you're gonna be able to put in your client's keywords um, for their site. Say they have 20 keywords that you're tracking in Google and it's gonna generate a report and it's gonna show you where you're ranking 
I believe in Google, in Bing, and Yahoo if you want, in Google Maps and things like that. Exactly, yeah. So, so the local tracker, you'd select local tracker if you want to uh, check for map rankings. Um, you put in your client's keywords here, you choose how often you want us to check for them. So three days seems like a, a good number. If you want to put in more keywords and use less credits, you could do five days or once a week. Or if you want let, like, to really check often, you could select daily even. Uh, you're just going to choose their site from the, you know, you go, okay, so this, and then you select the site. Um, and in the local tracker, you're going to have to put in a city because, so this is for Google local tracking. So you, you just start, you can put in a zip code or you can put in, uh, let's say, um, a, a city. So just, uh, and then from the drop down, you get the list. So let's say it's San Andreas in California, and then you can add another one if you want. You can add a bunch of different cities for those keywords. So let's say that you know they're trying to rank in in multiple cities in the area. You could uh, add that, or you can just select one. That's the that's the local tracker, and obviously under advanced options, you can choose where you want the search volume to come from, and then you just click add keywords. And our system is going to go out and check those for you, give you the reports, uh, allow you to generate client reports. You can also automate the client reporting, uh, where you can say, okay, send them an email once a month. Uh, you can provide them a link that they can see these, these rankings themselves in real time. And then the rank tracker is if you want to check um, more globally and you want to see for different locations, so like in different engines. So with the rank tracker, you can say, okay, I want Google, Bing, Yahoo, and you can choose different countries, different languages, et cetera, et cetera. So we support everything that, that the engines support. And then here, city is optional because this is, this is not the local tracker as such, it's the rank tracker. And as you can see, just as an example, we added fightclub.com and we just added a few keywords. You can just click view keywords on that and it's going to show you an in-depth report of everything that goes on here. So you can see how many rankings are up since the last check, how many rankings down and how many um, are not in the top 100. You can see so these two, Sneakers and Fight Club, weren't ranking, but Sneakers Store Miami, Sneakers Store New York, et cetera, et cetera, these different keywords would rank on the different domain names, okay? Uh, this is obviously just dummy data. This isn't any real searches or any real results. It's just for this, the sake of this video to show you how everything looks. We also have this cool tool called Potential Traffic. Now, the way this works is, um, without getting too technical, it takes the keyword, takes your position, takes the search volume on that keyword, and then it estimates how much traffic you're gonna get. So, because we're only ranking number 12, on this keyword, even though it gets 1,600 searches, we're probably only gonna get about 38 visits based on that ranking, right? And over time, you see, you can, you can then modify these and you can see the different um, estimated traffics if you want to preview this on the charts and change it. Like let's say, okay, number one, preview. We're then gonna get 664 visits, potentially, and it's showing you the increases. So then you can say to your client, okay, Right now you're only getting, you know, however many visits you were getting at that point in time. But if we move you up in the rankings four places, you're going to increase your, your visits by 10x, for example, on this keyword, right? So you guys can play around with this if you want to see it's now showing you as position number one. So even though we are actually number 12 in this term in, in this database, obviously, as I said, it's not real data. Um, and then as you can see, depending on the different positions and the different search volumes, it will then estimate the traffic for you. This is a nice little thing to show your clients and help them understand how their rankings in Google uh, can impact the traffic that they'll get to their site for the different keywords. That's and of course, there's, like, there's like, so many more things that go on what, here as well. Yeah, yeah. One thing I don't want to, like this is a huge thing because in, this is something that clients always want to know. Like, okay, if I'm number one, like how much more traffic am I going to get? You know, what can I expect? And what's great about this tool right here is that you can show it without you having to figure, well, you know, you know, equations in your head or writing it out. Like this is a really nice way um, to, um, to be able to show clients. And we've never had this before. So this is something I've, I haven't seen before. So this is really, really nice. Um, yeah. And it works really well as well when you have keyword clusters. So like sneaker store, Miami, um, Best sneaker store in Miami, et cetera, et cetera. So, because, and you know, sneaker, sneaker store in Miami, because obviously when you're ranking on one, you're going to rank on a whole bunch. So then that even increases the search volume that you can show to the client. Right. <clears throat> so, yeah. 
Uh, and, and yeah, there's more, there's a lot more to go into. There's easier ways of reading the chart, which is the key, uh, keyword view. Uh, there's this tool called Fantastic 30, and I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be working on here. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's, it's not, because it will only work in live mode. But basically that shows you um, the top 13 ranking sites on that, on that keyword and a history of that and so on like that as well. Okay. If you've had competitors, you'll be able to see your competitors and where they rank on those terms as well. So let's say, um, you know, Joe really dislikes um, Paul, who's a competitor of his, right? And he wants to say, okay, you know, right now Paul's outranking me on these, but your job is to get me ahead of Paul. Here you can show him his fight with Paul for rankings and when you eventually overtake and, you know, the feel good factor. So you can always compare yourself to competitors. You can see where they're ranking on any sorts of terms. Or if you, if you have a business that you really admire and you want to be like, or you want your client wants to be like that business, um, you can say, okay, these are the keywords they rank on. These are the positions they rank on. And let's see how we do compared to them. And in here, there's nice charting and graphs to show you, you versus your competitor over time, which we haven't added competitors. So we can't see, but obviously, if you add competitors for your client, they'll be pretty chuffed with that. And then obviously you've got the reporting. So this is partly what I was telling you about before, where you can generate uh, in-depth reports or you can create uh, quick public reports as well. So what this allows you to do is generate a URL. You just select all the keywords that you want them to be able to see. In this case, I don't want them to see the ones that they're not ranking on. It makes me, you know, they're a work in progress. I don't want them to question me on why it's not in the ranking yet. So I'll just choose, choose the ones that they are. I'm going to add branding here so you can create a profile with your company brand. So it's going to put that on there. I don't have one set up yet, but if I did, I just create it here and then all the pages and everything would have my logo and things like that on it. And you can choose either a live report or a static report. Static means specific date ranges and live means um, as of now showing, let's say the last 30 days period, which is going to intrude to Google as a line chart. Okay. Generate the report. Now here's a link that we can then give to our client. Okay, and they can click this link and it's gonna open up and it's gonna show their rankings on the keywords that we've chosen. Obviously, if we have our branding at the top here um, and then charting of each keyword individually over the period of the 30 days, as well as a breakdown on each check where they were ranking at that point in time. Yeah, and that's great because now here, it's a link that you can just give your client. So again, it's not like you have to download it into a, a spreadsheet or a Word document. Like it just makes it super easy. All right, Colin, that's great with the keyword. So what else does, do we have here in um, command center, Fusion command center? Yeah, so we are giving a lot of tools. So I think what we'll do is we'll just touch on a couple and then, and then anyone who decides to join, they can explore the rest of them. Um, obviously there'll be, you know, training and if you want help with anything or if you run into any issues, there's a little orange tab here and then a submit a ticket. You click that, you'll be able to reach out to us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So what we looked at just before was how to generate like a public report URL. But let's say that you want to make it a little bit more professional and nice and, and so on. Then you can click to use our, our report builder in site reports. And so you'll just give it a name. You can choose a, a style, you can choose a color, you can choose a company profile and you can include the company profile in the head of every page of the report. You can choose the report period. So if you want to send, some people might want to send a report Monday morning, 9 a.m. So then they'd include the last seven days. Someone might want to send one on the first day of each month, for example, or whatever. So then you choose the last 30 days. And here you can write an introduction. It's got some default text, but you can, you can change that, customize it. You can choose if you want to include the site manager for their website or not, and then you choose their site. Now what this does is it allows you to you know, any backlinks, uh, any related tasks, any notes, you'd be able to then tick those on or off if you want to include them or not. But probably in this example, I'm not going to include them. And then the rank tracker. So here you can choose, um, don't show keywords with no data. That's a great one to leave checked. Um, include the keyword lists, position breakdowns, estimated traffic. You can choose what you want to include or exclude depending on your client. So you'd know your client, you'd know what information they want to see, or what will just confuse them, etc. So you can choose here and same with local tracker. You then tick that one on as well. Right now we don't have any keywords in local tracker, so we can't tick that on. But if we did, you can click that and you're either using rank tracker or local tracker. You might be using a fusion of both. Um, so it's however you choose to use it. And then you put in a conclusion. Um, so 
you'd write here, you'd then probably say more information about it. And then here's where you can create the automation, okay? So if you want to automate it, you can. If you don't want to, then you just click save and generate. And it's going to output a PDF that you can send. So then you'll come through and generate this every time you want to send them one. If you want to automate it, you'll tick this. You'd input their email address. You'd input their subject line. You'd input the body information. And you choose how often you want to send it. You might say monthly on day one at 12 p.m. Okay, save so and generate. Um, you can use these short codes to put in your logo, your address, your website, phone, email, etc., into the body content. And then that would trigger an email to your clients with a link to the PDF. Uh, if you choose not to automate it, you can save and generate. Let's just see. Uh, okay, we'll give it a name. Okay, you need to have a company profile, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then as you're doing that, one thing, guys, like this report is so powerful because before we had a tool like this, because we have this in, in, in other software we use that Colin created, is it at the end of the month, that was always just so much work. Like, it's like, okay, here's the, here's the keyword tracking. Here's the stuff that I found in Google Analytics. Here's this stuff. Here's that stuff. And we would try to compile all this and report that we'd have to send out to our clients. So it would take like for, for us, my agency, like a couple of hours per client at the end of, of each month. And that's a lot if you start getting a lot of clients. So a tool like this makes it super automated where it's just everything's in, puts it in the report, and then it automatically sends it out once a month. Like this is, that's such a huge, huge time saver, especially as your agency grows, you know, when you start taking on more clients. Yeah, that's true. And that was just looking at the, the ranking report. You can actually give reports on pretty much anything in the system. So you'll see here the link to site reports, which was the page that we're just on. If you click create report, you'll see that we're busy generating a ranking report. But you can also do web analytics reports because you can connect your clients, Google Analytics, to the system. Um, press release reports. This is if you, if you have ordered press releases, they, you can report on those. You can give them their backlink reports, any audit and citation reports the competitor research reports. So in this case, let's just have a quick look at the complete reports. So you'll choose that site, and then you'll just follow through the steps here on the left and choose what you want to include in the report and customize the report fully, and whether you want to automate it or whether you just want to generate the PDFs yourself each time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, the reporting section. And I guess just to keep things short and sweet, let's quickly cover the Site Auditor Pro tool inside of client acquisition. So you get a few client acquisition tools as well, including review oh, badges. Okay, so the Site Auditor Pro, um, guys, just so you know, like when I, when I was talking about, I had the videos on agency setup, and I think I talked about this in um, when you um, creating your card, like your business card for your agency. I talked about a trick about putting a QR code on the back that goes to a, like a site auditor where people could get their sites audited automatically and it sends them a report. And I told you there was going to be a video on it showing you, you know, how to do that. Well, this is that site auditor that Colin is going to show you that I referenced in that video. Um, and this is an amazing tool and for getting clients, man, it is just an awesome, awesome tool because it basically shows them everything that they're missing. Um, yeah, yeah. So basically what it is, is it's where you can create an opt-in form that says to the clients, you know, like just input your URL here and get an SEO analysis on your website. And they'll put it in and then it'll show them a bunch of like working da 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 da, -da and get them all excited. And then it'll say, uh, where can we send you your report? And then they put in their name and their email, which captures that information for you. And then it sends them a branded report with your company details and everything like that to their email address that they can then click. And then under leads, you'll be able to see their email, their details, whether they viewed their report or not, and you can follow up with them. Um, and also in the report, you include how they can contact you to go further. So it's kind of a way of kind of automating your prospecting in a way. Um, and you said, so this is what I was talking about before with the background where it does the different, different moves. So this is what it, it kind of looks like. You see, this is the animated background that they see on a full screen on their screen. That's, uh, that's amazing. Like yeah, that's great. And again, this is an, like, this is a great foot in the door 
strategy when you're talking to people. Like, even if they don't even seem interested, it's just very easy to say, hey, you know, like even if you're not selling them right at that moment, you can say, hey, listen, at least if you're talking to a friend or a friend of a friend, say, hey, you know what? Just put your information in here. We'll do a free analysis of your site so you could see like where you're at and things you need to improve. They get the report. They're not going to know how to fix any of this stuff, but it's going to make them see like, oh my God, I'm missing all these things. I need all these things. Um, and then that opens the conversation for you. So that's, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's great. And again, like any one of these things is worth fusion command. Like this alone is worth getting fusion command center, right? For just this one thing, not to mention everything else we're talking about. So, I mean, it's yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is one of our, I, I think, uh, more loved tools. So that's, it's pretty cool that fusion users can use it. Um, you see, one of the things you can do here is include the task section at the end. And one of the things you can do is like a call to action. So contact me at my email to blow up your business with more customers. You can write a summary. Um, so basically you can go through here. You just fully customize it, but as you can see, it's only a few steps. Um, then you can customize the opt-in process as well. So you can choose to ask for a phone number or not. That's up to you. Uh, you can put the heading to the report. You can say everything that you want. You can write your own descriptions here. And here you can see the preview. So your report is ready to go. Name, email, phone, send me the report. And other things that we recently added was the ability to have a custom thank you page. So after the visitor has opted in, you can redirect them back to a thank you page on your website that then goes on to further sell them on your, on your services or show case studies of what you've done or these kinds of things. Um, so that can be pretty powerful as soon as they click this, you can say at the top, thank you, please check your email whilst you're on this page, boom, boom whatever you want to put there. Uh, here's another option to delay sending the report by 10 minutes. Now, we're not going to talk about all the options, but the reason to do this one would be if you're doing a double opt-in and you want them to confirm the email. So let's say you connect up to Aweber or something like that and you have a double opt-in because that's the other thing that we actually do. You see here we have this third-party integration. So what that means is you can connect any of these autoresponders and we'll automatically put those leads inside your autoresponder account for you. So by delaying it 10 minutes, it gives them the chance to then confirm their email on the double opt-in before they receive their report, rather than if you send them the report straight away, then they might not confirm the email, et cetera. That's if you're using confirmed opt-ins, you might be using single opt-in. So you can basically just choose any of these and basically any other autoresponder as well. Uh, you'll be able to generate an HTML code if you're not using one of these providers. You paste it in here and you'll be able to save that. And then your leads will go in there as well as uh, in here, all the leads that opt in. Okay, and basically once you've customized everything, you're just gonna get this embed code and you're just gonna be able to, so you customize the embed code um, and then you just take this and you put it on your site, wherever you want it to be, okay? And you can just, we'll, we'll click preview, but let, this is how it looks as an example. This is not what comes with it, just this part. Um, but basically when you paste it in, you can put this into lead pages or whatever form you're using, click funnels or anything like that. And it's gonna take on that styling and it's gonna look beautiful and convert pretty highly, I'd like to think. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much how you can go through and set up the site, site order to pro and start uh, generating prospects. All right, fantastic, great. Um, one other little one we could touch on real quick whilst we're here is this review badges. This is an optional tool that you can use as an, as an agency. But basically what it does is it allows you to, let's say that you have a client, Joe's Plumbing, and you want to have your visitors leave positive reviews for Joe's Plumbing. You then link to the different citations. So you can add them here yourself, uh, wherever they are, and they're going to appear in Joe's Plumbing list. And then what you can do for yourself if you want is down here you see, you can add a link anchor, SEO by your name, yeah. Your website, yeah, .com. And you can choose if it's a do follow or no follow link. And then you can embed this on your client's website for them, right? Uh, and what this does, and you can choose whether it's open or closed. If it's closed, then it's just gonna look like this. Uh, badge title might be like us. Something like that. You can choose the width of the sidebar, and this is how it's going to look. 
And then the person clicks here and it's gonna have a link to the third party and it's gonna have your link there as well. So you can put that in your client's sidebar if you want. Um, I don't know where the training is on that sort of theory and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just I a cool thing. All right. Yeah. So no, that's great. That's, so yeah, there's a lot of features in here that uh, some of the stuff we don't talk about in Fusion um, that you could explore. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, tactics. Um, and because, you know, it's just a, a software that we use even for agencies when we get to different levels. Um, you know, uh, so all right. Well, let's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. So Colin, why don't we go in and uh, let us know like what, you know, we worked out a price um, with Colin on this where it's, uh, why don't you scroll up so we could show them um, what it is. So, so Colin actually did a, a really special deal for everyone in Fusion. Like nobody does, has a deal like this ever on, you know, this was made just for Fusion, but he's getting people to have 60 days. Like, so you can have access to this for 60 days for free. And then after the 60 days is just 20 bucks a month. Now there, and the reason why it's even 20 bucks a month is because this actually costs Colin money. Like whenever you do a call out to get a keyword tracker, like that's an API cost that, that has to be paid for when you're looking at uh, backlinks, from all these sites, like someone has to pay for that data and Colin's paying for all that data. So even that $19 a month kind of covers the data. It's, it's really, if you go out and look at how much these, these are individually, it's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, so we couldn't do it like, Oh, you can have this forever for free. Like it, it would just, it wouldn't work. But what we did was we made it so that everyone can get in right now. You can start getting clients, you don't even have to worry about paying for it. By the time 60 days, you should have a couple of clients already. And the 20 bucks a month is really literally uh, nothing yeah, yeah. for this. Like I think Colin, his regular software, he charges way more than this. Um, and it's only for Fusion that he's doing this. Yeah, in the, in the regular software, we even have plans at $379 a month. Um, so yeah, it's obviously those are higher limits and so on. but we've never ever considered ever letting anyone in for, for $19 a month because we just don't make money on that. And it was kind of David Mills, I guess, who I have a great relationship with, with you guys and with him. And he kind of said, yeah, this is how it should be. Cause I was thinking, okay, the least we can do is 29 a month and no free trial. And that's what we had on the sales page before. And Joe was like, oh, okay, you know, let's, let's have a chat with David and see what's up. Uh, and David's like, no, I think we should do this. So, here we are. But yeah, just in terms of costs, even, even for the citation scans, as an example, we have a huge pool of proxies that we pay um, you know, thousands of dollars a month for in order to hit these sites so often that we do. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, th th this sort of, these tools can't really be replicated outside of the fact that, you know, we have, we have a good, good customer base who help us cover the costs and everything. Um, and yeah, as, as Joe was saying, you don't get billed for the first 60 days. So you just click get started now, uh, part of the process, you put in your credit card, but there won't be any charge. You can cancel at any time in the 60 days, you just put in a ticket and let us know. But our goal, because we don't make money on this really, uh, is our goal is that you will love Fusion Command Center so much that you want to upgrade to the full suite and have access to all the tools as your, as your, as your number of clients grows and as your business grows. Um, and, then, and then join at, at our, which are still incredibly reasonably priced packages. Um, so this is, yeah, basically we're doing this because we're hoping that you'll really fall in love and, 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 and love the tools. And another little thing that you could do is you could consider looking at the yearly. So first you get your 60 days and then it's only 149 a year, which works out to like $12 odd a month. I mean, you know, that's like, which is, two which is super, yeah, yeah which is track. really, really cheap, um, really for what you get. And, and Colin's right. Like, at first, he's like, well, I could do 29 a month. And then we really, really squeeze them to get this to where it's almost like a no-brainer and it's not really a stress for anybody. But what it is, is it because what we want in the end is we want you guys to be able to close deals. We want you to be able to close your first deal for 500 or 997. So we want to give you all the tools we can and every advantage that we can give you, we want to give you without putting any burden on you. Cause I know a lot of you guys are just starting out. 
Um, and this is like, again, you don't need it, but for the $19 a month, you will spend not only your time, hours, but you spend more in, you know, when you need to get this data for your clients anyway. So it's like, it's, it's just a no brainer. So anyway, all right, Colin, well, thanks um, very much. And we'll have the link right under this video and it'll be in the resource section. And I encourage everyone who's in Fusion to sign up for this, at least for the 60 days, because you're going to need it for either your site as you're building out your own agency and as you bring clients in. Um, yeah, so just two final points on that. Uh, the first one is please do not share this with anyone else. Uh, don't post it anywhere publicly. Don't discuss it any, anywhere or anything like that. This is only for people who are in Fusion. That's number one. And number two, yeah, the website address is fusioncommandcenter.com. And that'll get yeah. you to this page. And but guys, please don't, don't share it. Really. Right. And if it is shared, if we find out people are sharing it, we're not going to have this deal anymore. Okay. So, like, if you go out and you start and people start sharing it and giving it to their friends, and we, because we can track who gets in here and who's in fusion and we are going to cross reference. And if we yeah. find someone has this, it's not in fusion, they're going to, they're going to lose out. We're going to probably shut down their account. But it's like, if we do find out a lot of people are doing this, we're not gonna be able to keep this price up because this was just for you. And, and guys, you paid for fusion. You paid for this training. This is an advantage you get. Don't give it to people. You know, why give it to other people? Um, that that haven't exactly. invested what you invested. Um, so, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, right. thank you very much, Colin. Um, appreciate this. And I'm going to be making some supplementary training on Command Center, showing you how I'm going to use a lot of these tactics. So even though we kind of did an overview, there is going to be more in-depth training on a lot of the different components in here. All um, right. Thanks, Joe. And thanks everyone who, who watched us. All right. We'll talk to you later. Cheers.